And howdy folks, this is your old pal Uncle Al. Got the little doggy. And we just finished our walk. Okay, we're doing $5 Friday. This is for Sassy Gal pre prepping. We're all praying for Sassy Gal. Now, a lot of people in our area, we have Superior Grocers. They just opened up because they couldn't make any money in the blue area of California. A lot of people think, because they watch the news all the time, that California is all blue. Like America, California is divided in half. We have the blue areas, which is the smallest area of California, which is Bay Area, the urban areas, and LA. Every place else is red. All right, a lot of people forget that. Okay, they couldn't make any money in the Bay Area, but in our area, which is red, they make a lot of money. So remember, we're not buying fillers. We're buying certain items, okay, that we could can, put away, or freeze. Remember the four corners of our system, the freezer and the refrigerator. So I could freeze meat, all right, unless there's a total power failure. I have generators and a battery bank, so I don't have to worry about that. You know, a lot of people, but you have to run the generator or battery bank 24-7, Uncle Al. And usually I kick them in the nads. They have no idea. Now go check out Cap Patton's Family Compound. And he did 24 myths. I only do five because I'm old. All right? I have a deep freezer. I don't have to worry about this. All right? I take what I need. All right? I only spend anywhere from $290 to $300 a month on food. I feed myself, I feed my aunt, and I feed my mother, and a few grandnephews and nie nieces that eat me out of the house and home. Okay? Don't buy fillers. That's soda, chips, God knows what. You want things like hominy. Go check out. Um, uh, Chris Leon, she did a real good thing on the hominy. You could use the cans to uh, make a little tin stove. Okay? You want to get stuff that you can save money on and could be stored away properly. And we'll be covering that later. But this is $5 Friday. We're looking for all the sales we got. And it has pretty good sales. All right? You have to sit down at home, make a list, and know what you're doing. All right. Big thing is we want to get uh, what you would call non-perishable items. Now, Superior Grocery is more based for Latinos, and it's a good one. My Spanish is bad. I sound like David Lim Principal. Without the Texas Crane. The other one is Aldi's. Okay. They do have some canned goods that you can pick up. You have to always monitor them. But they're fairly good on the fresh items. Alright. You have to monitor. Bring your own bag. Be polite. A lot of people go there because we haven't had an Aldi's here for a while. But they found out they do better business in red areas. And everybody stand by food for less. Now, why Uncle Island has a wholesale license? Because I can hit smart and final for the church. Again, we're not buying fillers. We're buying dried and canned foods as well as certain fresh items. And usually I could get it at a discount and I talk to a manager and the teams and I have my own people to pick it up with our truck. Not my truck, the church's truck. A lot of people, oh God, you would not believe how hard I've been hit by trolls this past couple weeks. Okay, now my other store, my Mexican store, all right, this is this one. I really love them. They have really good buys. Okay, remember, we're looking for 
dried and canned goods. We're looking for fresh items that we could use and put in the freezer or refrigerator. All right, we are not buying fillers. Okay, if you have one of these stores, go check them out. It's very good. The uh, only uh, coupon I'm going to keep is for the month is Jack in a Box because I do like their mint shakes. Make sure you get the Jack app. Okay. And I'll probably sit down quietly in a corner in a booth and eat my lunch. My doctor yesterday says I have to drink more and sure and they gave me a canister of protein powder, which I already have. They're saying I'm losing too much weight. I'm down to where the little doggy went. I went probably the other room. I'm losing too much weight. I'm down to 158 pounds. Okay, a lot of people. Okay, myth. Oh, where did I wrote it down? Got too much paperwork and bills. Okay, myth number four. Go check out Cat Patton's myth live stream. Is buy guns and ammo. Okay, stop playing Rambo. All right, get training. Learn how to use one or two guns. All right, and know how to use it. All right, they have very good deals. You have a fine selection. All right. Just pick out one and get good at it. Get training. Know how to use it. All right. A lot of people, they think, I can go into the woods, be Rambo, and go hunt animals. No. Because every Yahoo is going to do that. Don't do it. All right. A lot of you don't read. Re a lot of you don't read and a lot of you don't understand what's going on. It is like the 1600s, another 30 years war. Technology is changing. A lot of you don't understand it. I just shoot standing up far away. I'm like, okay, and why don't you put on an orange vest and a big deer head on top of you and say, come and shoot me. All right, because I keep telling people, if you're standing, you're going to get shot. All right, most people are be in prone position on the ground shooting at you because you make the world's biggest target. All right, a lot of people don't have any idea people are going to shoot at you. And unless you're really close, doubt it, they're going to come at you. And that's not going to be, well, I see him and he sees me. No, if it's Uncle Al, I'm going to shoot you either from the side, the back, or where you can't see me. And then you drop dead and I got a new AR. What do you kill him with, Uncle Al? 22. What do you kill him with, Uncle Al? 270. Like I said, you have to understand how you're going to fight. A lot of people have been watching a lot of bad TV shows and movies and think, okay. All right. Reality check. Get proper training. If you're in the LA area, go see Corsair trainers. All right. I'm not playing fair. A lot of people say, but, but you have 5,000 rounds of ammo. Uncle Alan doesn't own ammo and Uncle Alan don't own any guns. All right. I ain't that stupid. All right. But you just shot somebody. Well, I'm sorry. What's what? Okay. A lot of people don't understand my tactics. One, I do have 5,000 rounds on one weapon. And I put those in five ammo boxes. Okay? 1,000 or 500 rounds each. And I stashed away at friends' houses, certain places where it's secure. And then if I need ammo, I've got an ammo box. A lot of you don't think like that. You just pile it. I'll pile it in the corner. Great. When your house catches on fire, you're going to have 5,000 rounds exploding. Okay. Normally, if I'm carrying something, it'll be about 240. All right. Uh, base 100, 120 rounds. 
for another base of 120 rounds. I prefer a rifle. I'm fairly skilled at it and I have a bayonet with it. Because a lot of you didn't read a lot of these dirty wars. I keep mentioning that. And blood wars. Again, they're going tactics back to trench warfare and hand-to-hand -hand combat. You cannot, Mike. Okay, I get you. Oh, shoot. There's a, within five feet. I don't think a lot of you are going to be doing like, I'll pull out my knife or pistol and too late. <laughs> All right. A lot of people don't understand that. You know, a lot of people get wounded really bad. Now, a lot of people may disagree in this point. You know, a lot of people haven't got grenades thrown at them. That's fine. I don't really care. That's your opinion, not mine. All right. It'll be, let's see if we find out. All right, folks, I'll catch you later. Be nice to one another. Be a good person. Grow a garden. Save America. Learn how to process, stockpile, and put away. Don't believe in the hype. Get a bicycle and a couple of spare tires. I keep telling this people. I talked to John about that and like, Sorry, Uncle Al, a lot of trolls and a lot of people don't know reality. They don't understand perception of their world. You have to show them the circle. I talked to this Jason. I talked to this Alfonso. I talked to this with Steve. The other Steve, not Steve Corsair. Um, I talked to a lot of people. And a lot of people don't have the perception out of that 50-mile circle. All right, folks, I'll catch you later. You have a nice day. God bless and good luck. It's 2024.